Hey Rugs, the Sober Dog coming at you. Today's video, Meth vs. Adderall. How similar are they? How different are they? What do we need to know about the two drugs? Because they're very, you know, they're often compared. I'll tell you what you need to know about them. Before I get started, hit that like, that subscribe. Help me get more content out there. I'd really appreciate it. Sober Dogs does not promote or condone any drug use. Please seek professional medical help before starting or stopping any medication or if you have an addiction problem. Recovery is possible. Adderall vs. Meth. Let's get right into it. First, I'm going to give you a quick side-by-side -side comparison. This information is courtesy of DrugRehab.com. Adderall and meth. Type of drug. Adderall, amphetamine. Type of drug for meth, amphetamine. Legal status. Adderall, Schedule 2 drug. Meth, Schedule 2 drug. Adderall, form it comes in. Pill. Meth, form it comes in. Pill, powder, or crystal. Adderall, route of administration, swallowed, snorted, injected. Meth, route of administration, swallowed, snorted, injected, or smoked. Adderall, street names, Addy, Beans, Black Beetles, Addy Daddies, some Daddies, Oranges, anything along those lines. Even blues and blueberries for the, the you know smaller Adderalls. Meth, street names. Chalk, ice, crystal, glass, shards, that white, even though that white can sometimes be cocaine, sometimes they'll say that clear white, that clear glass, give me some of that clear, anything along those lines. Side effects for Adderall, you got loss of appetite, hypertension, increased heart rate, erectile dysfunction, uh, problems ejaculating, prolonged erection for men, abdominal pain, constipation, excessive grinding of the teeth, blurred vision, profuse sweating, ticks, twitching, ticks, difficulty urinating, uh, alertness, concentration, paranoia, uh, you got psychosis, heart attack, mood swings, elevated mood, wakefulness, insomnia, lack of fatigue, change in libido, restlessness, and repetitive behaviors. Side effects for meth. You got excessive grinding of the teeth, dry mouth, loss of appetite, increased heart rate, sexual dysfunction, erectile dysfunction, nausea, abdominal pain, constipation, blurred vision, profuse sweating, tics, difficulty urinating, alertness, paranoia, psychosis, heart attack, repetitive behavior, mood swings, elevated mood, depressed mood, wakefulness, insomnia, anxiety. The same. The one I would add for meth is a lot of the physical, uh, you know, deformities you see, like when they do the before and after meth photos, um, you know, people lose their teeth, get scabs, got scars everywhere, have lost a ton of weight. That is more because of all the outside chemicals that are in meth, the acids in there, um, things like that, the, the, some of the, the pseudo stuff, the chemicals that are cooked in there makes the teeth dissolve and go away. And a lot of the scars and scabs are from people itching and picking and sitting in a mirror for five hours popping pimples and going nuts like that. People can get the same stuff, not the rotting of the teeth with the Adderall, but the picking and the going nuts, it's just usually not as pronounced. They might sit in the mirror for 15 minutes popping pimples on Adderall. With meth, it might be four hours. And finally... Symptoms of, symptoms of overdose for Adderall. You got extreme agitation, extreme hallucinations, convulsions, heart attack, stroke, uh, extreme restfulness, awake for days. Uh, forms of overdose and symptoms of overdose for meth. You got agitation, hallucinations, convulsions, heart attack, stroke, extreme wakefulness, extreme paranoia, restless, and awake for days. Same thing. Adderall is amphetamine salts. Meth is methamphetamine. Amphetamine in both of them. The difference, basically the main difference between meth and Adderall is small little changes in the chemical composition and route of administration, meaning, you know, snorting it, smoking it, um, injecting it, those two things can have a big difference and the little differences in that chemical 
you know, in those chemical changes are what make meth more potent and more powerful. But the, the actual effects of both drugs are very similar, eerily similar. And that is because they're basically, you know, they're basically the same drugs. Um, you know, an article I was reading doing research on this, the doctor who was uh, writing the article said, you know, Adderall or amphetamine salts and meth, they're cousins. Tiny little chemical changes make the difference, but the main ingredients are pretty much identical. Now, these small little chemical changes I was telling you about are what, you know, make the biggest difference between the two drugs. So, Adderall and meth might have the same base chemical that's affecting people in the same way, but those little changes are what make somebody who takes a hit of meth high for 12 to 14 hours and they're, you know, scratching at the walls or they're, you know, boarding up their house thinking the cops are trying to break in. Meanwhile, someone who takes that same person takes Adderall, they have those similar effects, but they're not as potent or pronounced. So that person might just be a little edgy and anxious or a little bit paranoid, not like boarding up their house paranoid, but like maybe just a little, you know, what's going on? You know, why are you talking to me like that? So it's the same effects, but because meth is more potent, those effects get, you know, exacerbated or they're, they're more pronounced. People can see it. They're like, you could tell if someone's on meth usually versus Adderall, it would be harder to spot. But when you get down into the nitty gritty, a lot of the effects are similar. Now, what this is a, a really scary stat. Studies have found that neither rats nor humans could tell the difference between methamphetamine and amphetamine when they consumed both. That's scary. If humans or rats couldn't tell, hey, you're getting meth or hey, you're getting Adderall, uh, that's scary to me because you ask 99% of the population if, hey, you want to do meth before work today? Or you want to do meth before the gym? Uh, no, you're crazy. Are you out of your freaking mind? But if you ask the population, hey, have you ever taken Adderall? Or you ever take Adderall before work or school or college or a sporting event? I don't know the exact percentage, but it's, got, it's way higher than that. I know that for a fact, just the amount of people that are prescribed Adderall. Some of the uh, reasons Adderall is used in society illegally, um, and, and you know, what some of the stuff that Adderall is commonly used for, not legally, but people buy it, you know, on the black market for, is performance enhancer, cognitive performance enhancer, weight loss aid, um, people who just want to stay awake, maybe they got a long drive or something, and recreationally it's used to increase energy, focus, study. Uh, get things done, increase mood. Uh, many people use it during partying to last longer, increase the effects. Adderall, in my opinion, if given to somebody 18 or older who has a really bad case of ADD or ADHD can be beneficial. Under 18, I personally do not think it is good in any case. It is legal methamphetamine. So if you give a 12-year-old Adderall, they are going to be hooked. They are When they're 25, if they've been taking that for a decade and you try to cut them off, that they're not going to be able to do anything they normally do without the Adderall. It, coming off, it will be just like coming off any hard drug, literally like coming off meth. The ingredients are very similar. They're cousins. The two drugs are cousins. You know, the differences with meth, it's more pronounced.